Yo, what's going on guys? This is Anthony. I'm doing my quick out of theater reaction for Guardians of the Galaxy. I have to say I like this movie a lot more than yeah, I, I'm real surprised. I'm like, I'm really, really surprised how much I like this movie bro. Director James Gunn, like I have to eat a lot of my words about this director. I thought this movie was really, really heartwarming and actually set up a lot of cool uh, familiar bonds and we got a lot of great character de character development. That's something we don't be seeing in a lot of Marvel movies. This is one of those rare films that I thought the, the movie had a distinctive voice, vision, beginning to end. It actually had its own tone and characteristics to it that I thought really, really, really worked well for the film. There's some really, really cool trippy visuals in this thing. Like you might actually get a like little motion sickness watching this movie. Um, I thought they did a really good job with doing a great uh, color palette and photography work, but a little bit, a little bit spinny, right? Like you, 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 a little, little too much going on up in there. I, I thought that was a little bit too much, but overall I enjoyed the visuals, the camera effects, the CGI. Oh my gosh, thank Victoria Alonso for this CGI. This, this CGI is off the chain right here. So those are a lot of the things that I liked about the film. We're gonna call those the good. As far as the bad, um, certain things that I was disappointed with, I'm not gonna say that they were bad, but they, I was a little disappointed, like especially Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock was probably the biggest disappointment for me. This character was more of a joke. He kind of just showed up for like, you know, comic relief. And that works in this, in the context of this being a comedy, James Gunn film, you know, all, all that. But as far as like maybe what I'm projecting, what I wanted from the character, I'm a little bit disappointed. Adam Warlock didn't really get that type of presentation that I wanted. However, this ain't the end for Adam Warlock. Spoiler alert, right? This movie gets a lot of respect for doing a lot of firsts in a Marvel film. I think this is probably the first time I saw a proper F-bomb dropped in a uh, Marvel film. This is probably the first superhero film I actually see somebody using the bathroom. What? A lot of cool, like I said, visual effects and homages. Oh man, James Gunn, shout out to you for doing your good little aliens homage, some Star Wars homages up in there. I'm, I'm, I'm digging that, I'm digging that. Oh, and James Gunn is actually out here trying to get the best hallway fight scene in a superhero movie. Like, that hallway fight scene is on point. I can't even knock him for that. That hallway fight scene, <clears throat> I like that one. And of course, it wouldn't be a Guardians film if there wasn't some good dancing up in here. There's a good little, little some bat, some dance battles up in here. I respect that. Other thing that I thought I would put in the bad, and this is the, the after credit scene. Um, I'm gonna just leave it at that. Y'all go check it out for yourselves and let me know what y'all think in the comments about that after credit scene. But overall, I like this Guardians of the Galaxy movie from beginning to end. Um, this, this is going to be one of my better films. If I'm going to save that all for the full review, check it out on the movieblog.com. I'll check you guys later. Peace.